Good afternoon and welcome back to the Hunger Roaring for race three of the 2017 Formula Renault Euro Cup round five here in Hungary. On the Hunger Roaring 4.381 kilometers of the uh, track. Beautiful conditions this afternoon after uh, good uh, conditions yesterday and uh, this morning as well. Air temperature just 22 degrees, slightly cool as I was walking across from the press center here to the commentator's boxes uh, this afternoon. A little bit of a breeze. We've got about, uh, ooh, I'd say 20 odd kilometers of uh, breeze coming from the uh, north to northwest at the moment and uh, just perfect conditions for racing. 66% humidity, according to the Weather Bureau, 20, uh, well, 1,013 millibars, so the uh, barometric pressure also uh, perfect for uh, these sort of conditions. A little breeze, as we said, keeping things cool on the racetrack. In the sun, it's a little bit hot for the drivers, so they've got the uh, yellow umbrellas out, the Renault Sport umbrellas over the car. Sasha Fenestras had been putting in some great times coming up to this weekend's uh, racing. But uh, in this morning's race, he got pipped off uh, leaving from pole position by Gabriel Aubrey, who went right through and took the uh, front position in that race. So today, Aubrey, uh, this afternoon, starting from pole position in car four. Looking back at race two, uh, actually after yesterday's first race of the weekend's five, uh, round five of the uh, Formula Renault Euro Cup, that uh, finished with Daniel Tictum, the rookie, uh, at the top of this, uh, the podium. Race two saw Sasha Finestras on pole, Gabriel Aubrey on second, and championship leader Will Palmer uh, starting in third place this morning in warm, sunny conditions. Max Defoni was in fourth place on the grid. Already into turn one this morning, Aubrey and Palmer went through on the inside to take first and second positions, much to the consternation of Fenestras, who despite fighting back, was forced to drop back into P3. The action was incredible through the first turns this morning. Aubrey pulled away in the lead, though, throughout the race. Will Palmer contented himself then to remain in second position, going for all important championship points. Towards the end of the race, Fenestras came under attack from Max De Forni, who was keen to get onto the third step of the podium. The two battled side by side for the last third of the race, but despite mammoth efforts, the Belgian just wasn't able to make the through into uh, third place, taking that place away from Fenestras. For Aubrey, it was a perfect race this morning, winning with over four and a half seconds get back up to the a nearest rival Palmer is the French driver's maiden win in the Euro Cup after dominating proceedings last weekend at the NEC race in Monza. Speaking after this morning's race, Aubrey said, it was just an incredible race. I took a perfect start. I had to catch Sasha in the first corner and then everything went perfectly. I just drove and I could drive far. The car was perfect, he said, just amazing. When you make a race like this, it makes you think, this is why I do motorsport. And that indeed was a very wise comment from Aubrey. Aubrey, of course, also uh, putting in some uh, great performances uh, just uh, last weekend in the NEC races in Monza. The heat waves uh, rising off the track here in the Hungaroring. As we go through the starting grid. And in pole position, it's Gabriel Aubrey. A reminder that the starting positions in this race three were taken from the second fastest of each driver's times in second qualifying yesterday morning. That means that several of the drivers are on the back of the pack because their second times were not up to scratch, weren't able to get them onto the uh, starting grid. Those drivers include Maxwell, uh, Verhagen and Chavez. Lewis leads also back on the track. Lewis uh, not in the race this morning. Yesterday he was out uh, with an accident. Lewis Leeds, the Australian driver, he was not allowed to race this morning by his doctors. They've allowed him to get back onto the track. Lewis Leeds starting from uh, the back of the pack as well in car two. Going through the positions. In second position on the grid, it's Sasha Fenestras. He'll be looking to get revenge on Gabriel Aubrey. Will Fenestras go on the attack as Aubrey did in the uh, last race? That'll be a good one to watch. Robert Schwartzman in uh, third position on the grid in car number 10. In fourth position, it's Yifei Yi in car number one. Fifth position, car number nine, Max Defoni. Defoni, as we said just a minute ago, putting in a, a very good attack in the last race, but not able to get through past uh, Fenestras. Will Palmer, the race, uh, the championship leader, is uh, on the third row of the grid. 
in car number eight, followed by Vartanian, Thomas Randall, Jano Opnir, Max Fertrell, Daniel Tickdom, the man of yesterday. Tickdom, of course, taking yesterday's uh, pole and the race as well. Also on row six, Alexei Korniv. Row seven sees Jean Baptiste Simenauer in car 22 alongside Thomas Neubauer in car six. On the eighth row, it's Zane Goddard, the Australian driver in car number 93, alongside Naji Razak in car number 20. They followed on the ninth row of the grid by Raul Guzman in car 12, Richard Vershaw in car 29. Nareki, one of the new drivers in car 96, uh, alongside Ghislaine Cordiel in car 34. Frank Bird in car number 19 is on the 11th row of the grid, alongside Julia Pankovic. Julia coming up a little bit in the rankings. On 12th row, it's Presley Martineau, alongside Alex Peroni, the Australian driver. Sun Yu Yang in car 21. Alex Mattis alongside on the 13th row. And on the two back rows, it's Enrique Chavez, Neil Verhagen, Lewis Leeds, and Thomas Maxwell. Neil Verhagen third on the podium yesterday. And going to be difficult for Neil to uh, go for any points in this race, but let's see how he does and if he can climb his way back up through the pack as the heat waves rise off the track at the Hunger Roaring. The legendary track here in Hungary, alongside Budapest. Clearing the track for the formation lap for this final race of the weekend. Three races this weekend. The engine's roaring and they're off for the formation lap of this last race of the Formula Renault Euro Cup weekend here in Hungary. Gabriel Aubry on pole position, French driver for Tech One Racing. Also racing last year and the year before in the Euro Cup. Finished 12th last year. And it really looks like Aubry's coming up. This weekend has been Aubry's weekend in the uh, Euro Cup. And he's popping up also on the uh, driver's table. He's already moved up one uh, rank. Peroni going down one, Aubrey up one. Looking at the driver's uh, rankings as we come into this race, Will Palmer is uh, at the top of the table on 162 points. Robert Schwartzman second on 151. Third on the driver's table as we enter this last race of this weekend is Sasha Fenestras on 148 points. Those three drivers all very close together. Max Tafoni on 90 points in fourth position. Gabriel Aubrey now just one point behind Defoni on fifth place, 89 points. Alex Peroni now back in sixth with 67 points. Daniel Tickton, the first rookie, with 64 points now in seventh position ahead of Max Fertrell on 56 points. Warming up the tires, ready for the start. learned that after this uh, weekend the six best placed in the championship will be invited by Renault Sport Racing to the Grand Prix of Hungary on the 27th and 28th of July that's the Thursday and Friday they're going to be accompanying the Renault Sport F1 team they'll discover what happens behind the scenes at the Formula One race so that's going to be an amazing moment for these uh, for the top drivers no doubt Will Palmer Robert Schwartzman Mac, Sasha Fenestras, Max Stefani will be going there. They'll be able to meet the drivers, the managers, and just see how everything ticks behind the scenes at a Formula One race. In the run-up to the, the big event at the Grand Prix of Hungary here on the 27th and 28th of July. Richard Vershaw 
Cruising into place in car 29, the Red Bull Junior team member. Neil Verhagen, also the Red Bull driver. The American driver way back on the, in the uh, pack for this start, uh, third on the uh, podium yesterday. His first podium in this series. As the engines are roaring, they're ready for a start. Looks like there was a false start for Fenestras. We'll see what happened there, but uh, car number four, Aubrey getting off to a good start ahead of Fenestras in car number 11. Or be getting a clean run through the first corner. And they're all through. The pack gets through without any problems. A few going off wide. Coming into the first section. Gabriel Aubrey in car number four, leading from Sasha Fenestras, followed by Robert Schwartzman. And it looks like the Red Bull drivers are already moving up uh, further back in the pack. Three of a second ahead of his uh, nearest rival, Sasha Fenestras, followed by Robert Schwartzman and Max Defoni and Will Palmer. Palmer, the championship leader, as we come into this third race. And he'll be looking to uh, try and move up, if possible, to retain his position in the championship because that's going to be touch and go with Schwartzman up in third and Palmer in fifth. Schwartzman could well go through to the top of the championship after this race if all goes well. Fenestras keeping the pressure on Aubrey as they go through back into the first section of the circuit. Very clear lines from uh, Aubrey coming through. Reminded that Aubrey uh, put in a very clean and, uh, well, we could say a perfect race uh, earlier in the day. To distance his nearest rivals by four and a half seconds by the end of the race. Conditions perfect for racing here this afternoon at Hungary at the Hunger Roaring. Little slide out for Richard Vershaw going through and car number 20 is off the track. That's the car of uh, Naji Ayad bin Abd Razak, the Malaysian driver. Car number 20 off for some reason. We're not exactly sure what happened there, but he's off to the side of the track. We're going to have the safety car coming out. Yellow flag and safety car. We can see the spin there from uh, that car. Quite a nasty uh, spin as the Fortec team, uh, Fortec Motorsports, uh, looks on. Hopefully, no great damage done for the driver. He's out of the car and uh, looking well, but obviously very disappointed with that. Back over the other side of the Armco railing. A very long way from home. Here in Europe, for the Malaysian driver, reminder that there's 14 different nationalities racing out there today. And as I've already said, uh, five Australians, the uh, biggest number of any one country represented on the track. I think we've also got four English, uh, we've got a number of Italians, French, Mexicans, Portuguese, Belgians. They're coming from all over the place. Russians, of course, the USA. 
And it's all big, one big family for the uh, drivers, as uh, they've told us many times. It's what uh, keeps them together and uh, keeps them sane in, <laughs> under these conditions as Gabriel Aubrey leads behind the safety car in car number four. With Sasha Finnestras, Robert Schwarzman, Max Tafoli behind him. Max Tafoni, the animator of race two this morning. One driver who really put on a, a show, it was Max. He went on the attack against Finnestras, who dropped back from a first to third position. After the race, the young Belgian was looking very disappointed uh, out in the paddock. But he didn't actually get through and onto the podium. That's what he was really looking for. Back in round four, Defoni was also the man of the weekend in Monaco in terms of action and sheer overtaking prowess. In both races, he really showed what he was worth in with some brilliant passes in Monaco. In race one in Monaco, on the penultimate lap, Defoni surprised Robert Schwarzman on the outside at Massenet, just going up the hill there to claim the third step on the podium. And in race two, Defoni finished just off the podium after overtaking Daniel Tictum through Port de Potier and then going into the tunnel. That was a very long overtaking maneuver, and he got through before the uh, new chicane in Monaco. What a brilliant performance by Defoni in Monaco. Well, at the end of May, uh, Max Defoni also um, announced that he was proud to be joining uh, MB Partners, Mark Blundell's boutique sports management agency. And there's he's going to be uh, helped along by their Young Driver Academy. It's Defoni's second year racing with our race. Before that, he was with the Art Junior team. One to watch, Max Defoni out on the track. A real performer, not scared to go for the attack. And in fourth position, he could well be attacking Schwartzman. Schwartzman, though, really keen to hang on to that position because of his championship points. And if he stays in that position, looks like Fenestras could go through and take the... So Aubrey could go through as well. Schwarzman on 151 points, Will Palmer on 162. Palmer two positions behind Schwarzman on the track at the moment. Formula Renault Euro Cup. An extremely competitive environment for these drivers where they learn the basics of the trade, how to handle the pressure of the competition while getting the most out of their single-seaters. This is where they learn the bases. The average age of the drivers currently breaking into Formula One has been falling every year. The result is the quality and the duration of the apprenticeships they serve on the way up also has had to be reviewed. Created more than 45 years ago, Formula Renault has been developing in response to the needs of the drivers coming from karting to the entry-level series. A lot of great champions like Alain Prost, Jacques Lafitte, Jean Ragnotti, Kimi Raikkonen, Lewis Hamilton, Sebastian Vettel, Daniel Ricciardo, they all started their career in the Formula Renault series. These cars, 210 brake horsepower, sequential gearbox, and the controls on the steering wheel, very high-performance vehicles, Something like a single-seater academy, giving drivers every chance to demonstrate their talents. And of course, three series, the Formula Renault Euro Cup, of course, but there's also the Formula Renault NEC and the Asia series as well, as the safety car goes back into the pit lane and the cars are back off racing again, and Fenestras goes on the attack. On the inside, Fenestras goes through and takes first position from Aubrey. Fenestras has sneaked his, snuck his way through to get after the uh, start-finish straight. A very tricky, clever maneuver from Fenestras to go through into first position from Aubrey. Further back, they're tangling back in the pack. But what a, an amazing... Uh, maneuver from Fenestras at the uh, first section of the track to get through back into the lead or to get into the lead. Fenestras putting in uh, in the days before this weekend's racing on Thursday and Friday he put in a, a new lap record here at the Nürburgring for the Formula Renault 2.0 Euro Cup 
and now he's gone through into the lead the position he's been looking for since yesterday Fenestras through into the lead here we see it again on the outside then on the inside he's looking for any opening and there he sneaks his way through past Aubrey very cleanly in that first uh, turn to take the lead of the race for the back Daniel Tictum also running hot Red Bull junior driver in car 33 Coming back along the start-finish straight. Sasha Fenestras now leading from Gabriel Aubrey by 1.122 seconds. Followed by Robert Schwartzman just behind at 1.505 seconds from the leader, Max Stefani, just 0.638 seconds behind Schwartzman. They're all tight-packed going through these corners after the safety car. Aubrey starting to drop back from Fenestras. Fenestras pulling away now. Showing uh, that he's worth his salt, what he was doing uh, earlier on this weekend. And Fenestras definitely want to watch in the next races as well. Will Palmer, the championship leader, back in fifth position. Englishman is ideally placed to take on uh, the next meetings. Younger brother of Renault Sport Formula One team driver, Jolion Palmer. His dad also a Formula One driver. He says they give him a number of tips, but they don't have the same style that he does. He says the team's in a very strong position this year with three returning drivers all doing well. Naturally, that helps to push them all forward. Sometimes one of them will be doing something a bit different on a corner, and that's working well. And then they all sit down and then look at the data and figure out how they can all do the same thing on those corners. That's how the teamwork gets together and helps them all improve on the corners. They spend hours discussing setup and strategy decisions that they all get involved with, and they're all open to decisions. The goal for Palmer, he says... It's clear to win the championship. Clearly, though, he says there are a lot of other drivers with the same target. And he says he'll have to be fast and consistent, that's for sure. He'll have to combine performance and regularity, and one is not enough without the other and vice versa. Perhaps this weekend, one is playing off the other for uh, the will. So he's going to have to be very careful how he goes for the next races if he wants to hang on or get back the lead in the championship massive amount of work still to do towards the rest of the season as we arrive at the midway point best thing to do just focusing on doing the best job they can every weekend Daniel Tictum in eighth position at the moment, followed by Thomas Randall, the Australian driver, in car number 16. In ninth position, Randall, uh, new to the series, and uh, just back in. Uh, he'll be with us for the rest of the season. After the retirement from the season of uh, Flucker, who uh, is no longer with us at this race. Sasha Fenestras leading by 1.624 seconds from Gabriel Aubrey in car number four. They're followed by Robert Schwarzman in car 10, 2.301 seconds behind the leader. with pressure on him from uh, Jano Opmier that 
It's uh, Thomas Randall, in fact, in car 16, putting the pressure on Fertrell. Altmir just behind. In car number 30. Randall looking to get himself another point, move up to ninth position. Putting the pressure on. Just under 10 minutes left to run as Fenestras continues to distance himself from the pack. Yifei in the car number one. Joseph Kaufman racing, currently in sixth position, followed by Alexander Vartanian. Now we have Robert Schwartzman in third position. For the moment, uh, no threat, uh, however, on Gabriel Aubrey. Schwartzman uh, keeping a, an equidistance with. Uh, Aubrey, and also a distance from Duforni just behind. That's our leader, Sasha Fenestras, going out wide on the curbs. Nice and clean, coming through. keeping the pressure on Aubrey. Benestras not pushing it too hard, although he's doing 141.681 in the last lap, the fastest lap in the uh, Fastest time in the last lap was actually Aubrey putting in 141.496. Aubrey putting in some good times. He might be catching back up on Fenestras again. Further back, Will Palmer, the championship leader, in fifth position. 4.181 seconds behind the leader and 0.928 seconds behind Duforni. For the moment, it doesn't look like he's able to attack Deforni and go through into fourth. So not too good for the uh, points for Palmer in this race. Now, race leader. Sasha Fenestras, followed by Aubrey, now Schwartzman. And a nice maneuver going through for car number 29. That's Richard Vershaw trying to catch back up, uh, climb his way back up through the pack in the Red Bull Racing Junior car. Richard Vershaw with MP Motorsports. He only recently turned 16, Vershaw. And he joined uh, MP Motorsport for his second season in motor racing. He had uh, two Formula 4 titles that proved he was uh, ready for a bigger challenge. And for this, Vershaw wanted to continue with his dream team. So a season in the Formula Renault 2.0 Eurocup was deci has decided again, again uh, with MP Motorsport. Richard Vershaw. Car 29, further back. Fenestras, the French-Argentine driver, born in France with Argentine and Colombian parents, but he was raised in Argentina. 
Fenestras uh, began counting in 2006 at the age of seven, partic partaking in events uh, across France and Argentina. And in 2016, he switched to Formula Renault 2.0 with Tech One Racing. Fenestras with uh, a number of podiums. A win in Monaco in race eight. Will Palmer feeling a bit of pressure now from uh, Yifei Ye in car number one. Chinese driver putting a bit of pressure on the uh, championship leader. Come back through with four minutes left to run along the start finish straight. Car number eight, Will Palmer, with Yifei Yi putting on the pressure just behind. The battle for fifth. And if Yi gets through, that's definitely not going to be good for the points for Will Palmer. Warning for cars number, car numbers nine and 30. Track limits. Fastest lap so far for car number four, Aubrey, putting in 141.496 seconds at 155.391 kilometers per hour. It's an excellent time. Not only that, it was a time better than the uh, circuit record lap up until now, which was Delatraz in 2015 with 142. 0.940 circuit best lap was Delatraz with 141.112. So the lap times we're having here this weekend are absolutely phenomenal. Sasha Fenestraz putting in a great performance here, slipping through past Aubrey after the safety car, keeping his distance, but uh, Aubrey uh, ebbing it away well, lap by lap. He's now 0 0.753 seconds behind of Fenestraz. Uh, Aubrey continuing to put in slightly faster times than Fenestras as well. As we have one car going off wide, that's car number 15, Axel, Axel Mattis of AVF by, uh, AVF by Adrian Vallas Racing. Coming through again along the start-finish straight. Further back in the pack there, we can see Presley Martineau followed by Thomas Maxwell. As the battle for fifth continues, with Yi Fei Ye keeping the pressure on Will Palmer. Hagen in the Red Bull car in 24th position attack, attacking Axel Matus just for the fun back up with the leader Sasha Fenestras now with Gabriel Aubrey breathing right down his neck, neck with just one and a half minutes to go will Aubrey be able to catch back up on Fenestras and go for the attack. This is an interesting finish to this race. Aubrey had been letting Fenestras take a bit of uh, a lead out in the front, but in the last few laps, Aubrey's been catching up lap by lap. Yet again, in the last lap, he's gone through quicker than Fenestras, and Aubrey is now right behind Fenestras as we go into the last couple of laps of this race. Gabriel Aubrey putting the pressure on Fenestras. Sasha Finistras locking up the front brakes. He can feel the pressure from Aubrey right behind. Aubrey is keeping the pressure on. Finistras, can he keep the pressure off him? 
from Aubrey, the young French driver. Great images there of the cars going through as these two young Frenchmen battle it out for first position. Fast Sasha Fenestras in first position, keeping the heat off from Gabriel Aubry. Aubry really putting on the pressure now as they come towards the last lap of this race. Just a few hundredths of a second separating the two cars. Sasha Fenestras hanging on to the lead. Aubry right behind. Aubry goes on the attack on the inside. Will he go through? He's looking for an opening. Gabriel Aubrey on the attack in the very last moments of this race. What a fantastic finish for this third race here in the Hunger Roaring. Gabriel Aubrey, as they come past for the final lap, Aubrey keeping on the pressure. He's right behind as they come down the start finish straight and go back through the first section of the track. It's Gabriel Aubrey, 0.349 seconds behind Fenestras. He's got him lined up in his sights. Fenestras locking up again. A little further back, Raul Guzman uh, going through on the attack and Count number 30 going off, that's uh, Jano Opmier. But as we're into the final moments of this race, Sasha Fenestras is keeping off the pressure from Aubrey. Aubrey right behind him with just a few corners left to go before the checkered flag. Will Fenestras hang on to his lead? What's going to happen in the next moments in this race? Gabriel Aubrey is right behind. He's wanting to go on the attack, but Fenestras is keeping the lead. A brilliant performance from the young French drivers in the lead in this race at the moment. Fenestras can feel the pressure of Aubrey right behind. Aubrey winner of this morning's race. As they come back to the start finish straight, it's Sasha Fenestras taking the checkered flag in race three here in Hungary from Gabriel Aubrey. And what a fantastic finish to this race for these two young French drivers ahead of Robert Schwartzman. Looks like Schwartzman's gone through into second place. We'll check the um, final results. happened to Fenestras. We have yellow flags waving. Final results. As Gabriel Aubrey went through to take the race, Fenestras actually dropped back in that last lap. And we didn't actually, I'm not sure actually where that happened, but Gabriel Aubrey did go through to take the race in the end. And Robert Schwartzman in second position, Max Defoni in third, Will Palmer in fourth position, Yi Fei Ye in fifth, and Alexander Vartanian in sixth position. And we've been, I've been told that Fenestras, that's due to a penalty, uh, which actually was imposed due to the jump start. So that explains Fenestras dropping back at the end of the race. What a great performance, though, for Sasha Fenestras. And as we did note at the start of the race, it did look like uh, Fenestras jumped the start. And indeed, 
he was given a 10 second penalty which meant that he's now dropped back to ninth position overall uh, uh, sorry eighth position overall what a shame for Fenestras who did put in a brave and a fantastic race as we look at the championship points at the end of this race and who's going to be at the top of the championship it looks like it could well be hmm. I think we had a problem with our um, graphics there but uh, I guess we can consider that in the championship who could be at the top Congratulations for the top teams as Gabriel Aubrey takes the forfeited win ahead of Robert Schwartzman in car number 10 and Max Defoni in car number 9. Came into the race, Will Palmer was uh, at the top of the pack with ahead of Robert Schwarzman on 151 points. And we'll have to calculate who will come out on top after that. Here, of course, uh, Max Defoni, who's been putting in some brilliant performances in the uh, last races as well. And Unfortunate for him, he couldn't get through to the podium in uh, race two. But uh, Defoni now on third step of the podium, so he'll be gaining some important points there as well. Defoni currently fourth in the overall standings coming into this uh, third race here in Hungary. Reminder the uh, top positions Gabriel Aubrey, Robert Schwartzman, Max Defoni, Will Palmer, Yi Fei Ye. Alexander Vartanian and Daniel Tictum, followed by Sasha Fenestras, back in eighth position following his penalty for the jump start. As the drivers prepare to mount the podium, we'll be hearing, hopefully, in the next couple of seconds from the race winner, Gabriel Aubrey. <laughs> Second win for Aubrey this weekend, and after two wins in Monza last weekend in the neck. He's running hot at the moment. He and uh, Fertrell, his teammate, Tech One Racing. He won both races in uh, the Northern European Cup in Monza last weekend and now putting in some great performances here in Budapest. Time for a few photos with the race winner. Looking very pleased down on the uh, pit lane. As we prepare to uh, have a quick chat with him and ask just how he feels about winning this third race here in Hungary. <laughs> Yeah, no, I knew it. Since it's first to five No, but I risked quite a lot to try to make the gap. Yeah. Okay. congratulations for the amazing day. Tell us about your week from the win well, the whole week has been really nice, especially this Sunday because I had two wins. So really an unbelievable weekend. And uh, I'm really happy to keep the performance after Monza after the two wins. So that makes it a uh, full win in two weeks. I'm really happy and I want to keep that for the next race in Nürburgring. The season has really started now for you. Yeah, the se well, the season already started quite a long time, but now I really feel confidence and I feel like I'm really improving every race. And I want to keep that, try to improve every race and why not go back to the championship in the top three. Well, actually, uh, I knew he had the penalty quite early in the race, but I still push hard every lap to get him. I got, 
I get everything I had and I ended up right up his, uh, up his gearbox for the three last lap I guess but I knew he had the penalty so I didn't want to risk to make all the risk I want takes a lot of points so very good thank you Aubrey very polite right up his gearbox I'll have to remember that one as we take a look back at the highlights of this third race of the weekend here at the hunger roaring with the cars getting off to a clean start and Aubrey going through into the lead ahead of car number 11 of Finistras coming through the first corners reminded that Gabriel Aubrey started from pole position with Finistras in second with a runoff for car number 29 and then after the safety car a very slick move from uh, Fenestras to move through into the lead of the race ahead of Aubrey. Fenestras continued to lead through the rest of the uh, race. Attacks happening further back in the pack there, car number 29, Richard Vershaw going out on the attack uh, to move his way back up through the pack. Also, cars like car number 17, Alex Peroni, the Australian driver, putting on a lot of pressure on the rest of the pack. Three or four across coming through. And we've got some pushing and shoving. Opmir going out wide. And car number 11. Sasha Fenestra is coming through to take the checkered flag ahead of car number four of Aubrey, Schwartzman, Deforni, Palmer, Yi, and Vartanian. But Fenestra is dropping back 10 spot, 10 uh, seconds because of the jump start and very unfortunate for him as the drivers mount the podium Max Defoni in third Robert Schwarzman in second and Gabriel Aubrey in the middle yet again victorious here in the third race at the Hunger Roaring French-speaking drivers, one Russian on the podium for this third race of the weekend here in Hungary. As the uh, top rookie this weekend, or this race, is Yifei Ye in car number one. In fifth position, he finished. Great performance for the uh, young Chinese driver. As the teams continue to song, sing the Marseillaise, five more races to go, five more race weekends to go in the uh, 2017 calendar. The Nürburgring on the uh, in the next month, also the Red Bull Ring, also in the next month as well. And in uh, August, we'll be going to Circuit Paul Ricard in France, followed by Spa Francorchamps in Belgium in September, and then Barcelona for the final of the season in October. That's the rest of the 2017 calendar. The next uh, race, as we said, in a couple of weeks at the Nürburgring, the famous track in the Eiffel region of Germany. And we're very looking, very much looking forward to seeing you there. As the drivers here will be able to get a little bit of a breather before going to Germany. And the race winner prepares to receive his trophy. Gabriel Aubry. Putting in a brilliant weekend. As he said, four races in two weekends. That's not bad at all for Gabriel Aubrey. As he hadn't actually won any races up until uh, now in the season. He's been on the podium a few times. But uh, this is uh, definitely a great, uh, great couple of weekends for Aubrey, proving that he really is now up to speed in the series. Fayet. Receiving the prize for the best rookie. Still a lot of work to do in the season for the drivers. And as we said, it's like one big family despite all the competition out on the track. It's an incredible atmosphere at the Formula Renault Euro Cup 
as they prepare for the next round in two weeks at the Nürburgring. Thanks for joining us this weekend. We'll be seeing you in two weeks' time, and we look forward to seeing you then. Bye-bye.